What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Abbas and I'm a mechanical engineer. It's been a while since I've made a video, but today we are back with another banger. And today we're gonna delve into the harsh realities of mechanical engineering. You see, mechanical engineering is a profession that has many rewards and many opportunities that come with it. However, it is important to discuss and shed light on the difficulties and the challenges that come with this career. So if you're considering a career in mechanical engineering, then stay tuned as we discuss the harsh realities that you should be aware of. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first reality that you should be aware of is that there is very limited career progression without specializing. In the vast world of mechanical engineering, specialization is the name of the game. Sure, being a generalist can give you a solid foundation and allow you to tackle a wide range of projects. However, if you truly want to accelerate your career within mechanical engineering and reach new heights, then specializing is the key that unlocks those doors. And the harsh reality is that without specializing in a particular area, your career progression may be hindered and you may find it very difficult to make significant strides into the industry. Mechanical engineering is a very vast and constantly evolving field. By not specializing, you run the risk of having very shallow knowledge base across multiple areas without truly mastering any of them. Without becoming an expert in a particular domain, it becomes challenging to provide unique value to employers as well as stand out amongst your peers. When competing against candidates with specialized knowledge and skills, you may find yourself at a disadvantage. And the reason for that is simply because employers tend to prioritize candidates with focused expertise because they can contribute to specific projects and bring innovative solutions to the table. Without specialization, you may struggle to differentiate yourself from others and secure desirable positions in the market. Now think about it like this, right? Imagine you're an employer looking to hire someone for a cutting edge robotics project. And you've got two candidates in front of you, one with a broad knowledge of mechanical engineering and the other one who is specifically specialized within robotics. Who do you think is more likely to get the job? It's probably the candidate with a specialized knowledge, right? And that is because when it comes to niche fields like robotics, right, companies tend to want someone who is an expert in that particular field, who is specialized in that particular area, someone who knows the ins and outs of that particular industry. As you progress in your career, high level positions typically require advanced knowledge and expertise in a particular domain. Without specialization, it can be very challenging to demonstrate the depth of knowledge and skills and expertise required to take on more senior roles. This may slow down your advancement prospects and limit your access to leadership positions within the field. Specialization usually allows you to be that go-to person that others usually rely on for their expertise. It sets you apart from the competition and gives you a competitive edge. You become the sought after professional who gets the challenging assignments and exciting projects. The one who gets the opportunity to work on groundbreaking things that push the boundaries of what's possible. And the key is to find the area that aligns with your passions and your interests. By focusing your efforts and deepening your knowledge in a specific field, you position yourself for greater career growth and advancements. Now, don't get me wrong, right? General knowledge and a broad understanding of mechanical engineering principles are essential, especially early in your career. But as you gain experience, taking the time to specialize and become an expert in a particular area can significantly impact your career trajectory. So if you're serious about advancing in the field of mechanical engineering, then consider exploring different specializations and finding that one that ignites your passion. Invest in continuous learning, stay updated with the latest technological advancements and seek opportunities to apply your specialized knowledge. It may take time and it may take effort, but the rewards and the opportunities that come with specialization can make it all worthwhile. Now let's get to harsh reality number two the constant need to continuously adapt to the latest technological advancements. Mechanical engineering is an ever evolving field with new technologies emerging regularly. As a mechanical engineer, you must commit to lifelong learning and stay updated with the latest trends and developments. It means investing time and effort into continuous skill developments and professional growth to be able to remain relevant in the industry. See, as a mechanical engineer, you've got to remember that you're not just working with nuts and bolts anymore. 
you're actually dealing with a constantly evolving landscape of tools, techniques, and software that actually revolutionize the way you approach your work. Let me tell you this, staying ahead of the game is no easy task. Now picture this, right? Imagine that you finally get the hang of a cutting edge design software that actually streamlines your entire workflow and enhances your productivity. Well, guess what? Just when you thought that you had it all figured out, a brand new software hits the markets, promising even greater efficiency and mind blowing features. And now you're back to square one, trying to catch up and learn the ropes all over again. It's like a never ending race, trying to keep up with the latest and the greatest in technology. And it's not just software that's evolving, right? The tools and the techniques that we use on a day-to-day -day mechanical engineering are constantly evolving at lightning speed as well. From 3D printing to virtual reality, from advanced materials to robotics, the possibilities are endless. And to be able to truly harness the power of these advancements, you need to be able to learn adapt and step out of your comfort zone. So the harsh reality is that keeping up with these latest technological advances can be quiet, daunting and exhausting. It requires time, effort and sometimes even late night tutorials when you'd rather be binge watching your favorite TV show. It means attending workshops, conferences and training programs just to be able to stay updated in the latest trends and developments. And that is the price we pay as mechanical engineers to be able to stay relevant in this ever evolving industry. And that's not wrong, right? Imagine you've been working at a company for several years and you become a pro at a specific software for structural analysis. You know all the features, all the tricks, all the shortcuts to make your work more efficient and more accurate. But then you decide to switch companies. And guess what? They use a completely different software for that same purpose. Suddenly you have to relearn an entire new software. You have to understand its interface and figure out how to do the same tasks that you used to do effortlessly. It's like starting from scratch and it can be quite overwhelming. But here's the twist, right? This scenario doesn't just happen once. Different companies and organizations or even projects within the same company usually have a variety of software they use for the same tasks. And guess what? Each software has its own learning curve and requires you to invest time and efforts to learn it to be able to become proficient at it. This constant need to adapt and learn a new software is actually a harsh reality that is faced by many mechanical engineers. It can be frustrating and time consuming as you have to continuously update your skill set to be able to meet the demands of different projects and employers. But here's the exciting part, right? Embracing technological advancements can actually be incredibly rewarding. It opens up an entire world full of possibilities and allows you to tackle complex problems with innovative solutions. You become an innovator, pushing the boundaries on what's possible in mechanical engineering. Now let's get to harsh reality number three. There is intense competition in the job market. Picture this, right? You have spent countless years studying, working super hard to earn your degree in mechanical engineering. You're ready to conquer the world and put your skills to use. But then you enter the job market and you're met with a swarm of other talented mechanical engineers all trying to fight for the same number of limited positions. It's like battle royale out there for mechanical engineers. In this competitive landscape, simply having a degree and a basic understanding of mechanical engineering principles will not cut it. You need to do more, be more, and stand out from the crowd. You need to go to that extra mile and make your employers take notice. You may find yourself competing against highly skilled engineers who have the same qualifications and experiences. This means that even with your impressive credentials, landing your dream job can actually become a grueling task. It can be disheartening to invest time and effort into applications and interviews only to face rejections or being overshadowed by other candidates. On top of that, the pressure to stand out from the competition can be immense. You've got to remember that you're not just competing against recent graduates. You're also up against seasonal professionals who've got years of experience under their belts. This 
harsh reality means that you always need to be on top of your A game and you constantly need to be able to differentiate yourself from the competition. And it can be very stressful to constantly strive to be the best and find unique ways to showcase your skills and abilities. And you know, these things can actually take a toll on your work-life balance as well. Feeling compelled to constantly upskill, pursuing additional certificates, and working long hours to demonstrate your commitment and your dedication can eventually lead to burnout and exhaustion. And the fine line between your professional and personal life can become very blurry very fast. But remember guys, every setback and rejection is actually an opportunity for growth and self-improvement. Learn from your experiences, seek feedback, and use each challenge as a fuel to propel yourself forward. Embrace that competitive spirit, but also take care of your well-being and maintain a healthy perspective throughout the journey. You can rise above the competition and carve out a successful career in this dynamic field. So there you have it guys, the harsh realities of being a mechanical engineer. Now I know that these challenges may seem very daunting, but I can assure you that they can be overcome with dedication, the right support system, and the right mindset. These realities should not discourage you from pursuing a career in mechanical engineering. In fact, they should inspire you to rise above the challenges and embrace the journey with resilience and determination. By acknowledging and preparing for these harsh realities, you can approach your career with a realistic mindset and develop strategies to overcome the obstacles that come your way. So don't be disheartened by these harsh realities. Instead, let them serve as stepping stones towards a fulfilling career in mechanical engineering. With that being said, that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't, because I'll be posting a lot more mechanical engineering content on a consistent basis that you do not want to miss out. Make sure you hit the notification bell and feel free to share your thoughts and your experiences on some of the harsh realities that you have faced in the comment section below. I cannot wait to go through them and hopefully share them in a future video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.